I start the year every year asking every kid, where do you want to go and how can I get you there? And those answers to those questions really guide a lot of what we do in class. I think one of the things that we do very, very well here at Leiden is listening to students and when they present an argument for something they want to do or a class they want to teach, we listen to them. As students, they trust us a lot, so we're very independent, but they also, they provide like mentorship, so they're always watching us, they're helping us. What is motivating you right now? Why'd you wake up this morning and what do you want to do here? It's not necessarily like what's written down for me to teach. What are you interested in? I think that's a huge part of it. Guide their learning, guide their education, and figure things out here so that when they leave us, they're better prepared for the world. Uh, but not by being told by teachers what to do, what to say. Our teachers kind of take on the role of our parents, so they support us a lot when we tell them what we want to do. A lot of times the teachers ask us what we'd rather do, what we want to learn in the class, and even if it's the same skill that we're learning, they ask us in what way we want to learn it. When we talk about student voice, uh, going along with that is the, the belief that someone's listening. That it's not a classroom, it's a group of individuals. Making a kid aware that uh, their voice is as, as important as everyone else's, that's a powerful program. We bounce ideas off each other, so it makes it a lot simpler. It makes communication and work a lot easier. You don't have to like worry as much about not being able to talk to your teachers, not being able to communicate with other students. Being able to collaborate to make something better than what we would be able to make on our own. Our teachers can teach us one thing, but if we work together we're really able to expand our horizons. We need to make them the best possible people they can be before they walk out of this. And if we're neglecting digital communication, we're doing them a huge disservice. All of a sudden you have many more options in terms of what you can present to a student in real time. So the, the student can be exposed to a wide variety of resources and, and, and environments. And as we give kids more and more choices, right, one of the things is structure and making sure, right, that they can find the things that they need and look for the things that they need in an easy and manageable way. We are able to share our work on Workspace as well. That's how we bring our ideas together. Communication between teachers is instant. So if you need help, you know that you can always raise your hand, call the teacher, they'll get on your documents, and then they'll immediately give you feedback. Mr. Grieve, the way he does it is he's able to like check on us and send us actual like cues and so that like you should be check this part of your essay or do this part and it helps us because he's able to monitor all of us without having to be like big hassle. I'm not an expert in every field so so the ability to sort of channel another expert through Hapara right I mean through the dashboard um, to share those the, the world of knowledge and to do it instantaneously is really powerful. A couple years ago, I did a, a standards-based, individualized uh, program in my Western Civ class that would have been incomprehensible without technology, right? Kids were working at their own pace, they were going through Google Forms and, and Google Docs and, and doing research on their own, and then we're given a, a choice project at the end, and without the technology and the ability to put things into the Google Drive and, and push things out to, uh, to using Teacher Dashboard, um, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to do it. It would have been, every kid would have been lost. You can see an entire classroom worth of work at one glance and with one click you can figure out what a, what a student has been working on in the last one minute. That's beautiful, it's clean, it's efficient, it's a game changer.